Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back to Yunfu. And we are here today with my little friend Emily. So we're going to have a little bit of chat to Emily. She's going to tell us a little bit about what school and life is like here in China from a gay from a young person's perspective, a gay perspective. Gay means what? Chicken. Chicken, not what you might be thinking. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Ah,、uh, my name is Emily, and I, I have my dad and mother and a big sister. What's your big sister like? It's bad. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, I'm sure you love your sister. So. What's your day in school like? What time do you get up to go to school in the morning? Seven twenty a.m. Seven twenty a.m. is when you go to school. Yeah. That's so early. Yeah. And what time does school finish? At six o'clock. Six o'clock. P.M. <laughs> That's a long day. Yeah. Um. So, what type of classes do you do in school? Um, Chinese math, English, and science, and P arts and music, and many others. What's your favorite class? I don't know. I think it's PE. PE. You、yeah. like to run, which is why you love them shoes. <laughs> um, how many other students are in your class? Uh, fifteen. Fifty. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Um. So what about when you're at school? What? You start at seven twenty, and you、yeah. finish at six. Do you have to do schoolwork all day? No, I will eat lunch at school and sleep in school at the afternoon. Have a sleep. So you have dormitory at your school to go and have a rest in in the afternoon. How long do you rest for? I don't know. I just sleep. What time do you go to sleep? Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. So straight after lunch. What、uh, time do you wake up again? Um. Two、um, o'clock. I think. So you get a、uh, couple one, of hours. One fifty, I think. Okay, so you get a couple of hours of rest. So lunch. Do you take your lunch to school, or does the school have lunches for you? Uh, for for us. So the school makes you lunch. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. See, when I was at school, you had to take your own lunch to school.、Oh. Although we had a canteen, you could buy your lunch, but we didn't do、oh. that very much because we were poor. Um, what about homework? How much homework do you have to do every day? Um,、uh, many. Many. One hour. Uh, one. Two hours.、Mm. Five hours. Um, one hours or two hours. So if you start school at seven twenty, and you finish school at six, what time do you normally go to bed at night time? Um, my thing is, uh, ten o'clock because I I when I do my homework I should um, fi- um when I finish my homework I should uh um practice the piano and I I should um I should. Eat dinner too. <laughs> yeah, it's a busy day. So, what about outside of school? What do you like to do when you're not at school? Play piano, I think. Play piano. What else? Uh, sing. What else? Um. Oh, play with Scott. Hey, we have good fun together. Um. What about when you grow up and you finish school? What would you like to do for a job? Ah,、uh, um, a a singer. Be a singer. Yeah. Well, that's a good enough, good enough job for me. What about school uniform? This is what you wear to school every day. Yeah, yeah. This. So white and blue is your school colours. And you can't see on the video, but she also has white and blue pants on. Yeah. So everybody has to wear that at school. Yeah. You're not allowed to wear what you want. It can, it can. Um, just um, when it's so hot or so cold. Okay, so you、yeah. do get other things. 
So yeah, when I was, some schools that I went to, you had to wear school uniform, but like when I went to high school, there was, they had a school uniform, but nobody ever wore uh, a school uniform. Uh, um, what else did we want to ask you? Have we got anything else there? Dress code, lunches? Um, that's about all. So we're sitting, let's just pan the piano down a little bit. We're sitting here yeah. at the piano and we might be able to convince Emily to play us a quick little something on the piano. Okay. All yours. Okay. Shall I get out the way? come to stay I stay downstairs from these guys in a room down a floor below and in the morning I'll often lay in bed and just listen she practices in the morning and I'll often lay in bed and just hear this coming down it's very nice <sighs> have you got anything you'd like to say to people I don't know you don't know well we'll leave it there shall we okay so again this is Emily I was going to try and talk to her sister, Joanna, but everything got busy and she's back at school already, so we might try and have a talk to her next time. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Questions or the comments, hit us up in the comments section. If you want to say hello to Emily, hit us up in the comments section or pass on your, your messages. Um, and if you have anything you'd like to know about life here in China, in the comments section, and uh, if you come up with a good idea, We'll make you a video. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, bye, guys. <laughs> so here we have the end of the school day at Emily's school. Uh, Emily's mum's still stuck in traffic lights. I came down here for a walk early. You can see how many parents are here picking up kids and stuff. Um, so we'll uh, keep an eye out for Emily and. Yeah, let's see how we go. See if we can find her in this crowd. So that is my young friend Emily uh, over in Yunfu. Her family is the reason I keep going back there. They're really good people. They really look after me well. Um, like I said there, uh, we will try and have a chat with Joanna next time we're over there. Uh, yeah, sort of. Emily's uh, primary school, she'll be going into middle school, I think, next year or later this year. Uh, Joanna's high school, so we'll try and get a talk to her in the future and we can sort of see the difference between <laughs> how much work they have in primary school compared to high school. Uh, yeah, so I thought we'd just take a few minutes, we'll just chat a little bit about... Uh, about some of the things I've picked up talking with students of various ages from younger ones like Emily right through to high school, college age students about uh, what life's like for a student here. So as you heard there, their days are very, very long. <laughs> yeah, starting school 7.30 in the morning, not getting home till after six o'clock and then having an hour or two of homework for primary school. Um, high school, hours are even longer during the day, so they will work, uh, you know, they'll have classes after dinner as well, and then they have homework on top of that. So it's, yeah, it's, it's they work really, really hard. Um, and a big part of that is the population here, because there's so many, uh, so many people, so many students graduating every year. If you want to get a good place in a college or a good place in a university or a good job, you have to work hard. You know, it's a very, very competitive, uh, competitive system here because of the population. Um, 
but also they do also all have a break halfway through the day you know they uh, get a couple of hours off so when I was at school we'd start school you know something like 8 30 quarter to nine and then you're finished by 3 30. Uh, here they have a longer day but after lunch you know all ages primary school middle school high school uh, they will go off and have a kip after after lunch so it's not all work <laughs> there is some relaxation in there as well uh, there's a one of the teachers here in our college had a son who I haven't seen for a while I think he's uh, I think he's gone off to high school he was middle school when I used to talk to him uh, and his English was pretty good and we'd often chat about school life and stuff and so like Emily's school has <coughs> uh, has accommodation in the school. They have dormitories in the school. Uh, whereas this young lad, he actually used to go over the road. A company had a business which was basically rooms with beds and the students from the school would go over the road after lunch and... I don't know if they rented a room or if it was provided by the government, by the school, whoever is in charge of the system. I don't know what the management of that was like. But yeah, they actually used to go off campus to a, uh, a separate place to, to have a rest after lunch. Um, what else can we tell you about the school system here? So yeah, long days. Um, yeah, lunches. Most of the schools, so even uh, kindergarten I go and visit from time to time, they will provide lunches and stuff for the students. So there's no packed lunches or anything like that. We, uh, when I was in school, it was always bring your own, bring your own lunch, uh, unless you want to buy something in the canteen. Here, it's all included. It's all provided by the school. Um, and they get pretty, pretty good meals generally, um, depending on, I guess it depends on the school and who's providing. So I know in our college, <laughs> we had um, the canteen here in this campus. Uh, a couple of years ago, students didn't really like it terribly much. Um, but then during COVID, we sort of, uh, this or when we opened the new campus, this campus here closed for about a year. They did a lot of refurbishments, upgraded the classrooms and stuff. We got new people taken over the canteen and students appear to be a lot happier with it. So yeah, depending on who's providing some of, them, some of them provide good meals, others the students aren't so into. Um, I imagine also students who are locked into their campus are probably less happy because they're just bored with the, uh, bored with the meals provided. Um, yeah, it'll be a lot of the same sort of stuff night after night. Uh, so, you know, here, we have a lot of uh, sellers, street sellers, will come and set up camp outside the school here. So students can actually sort of, even if, even if they're not allowed outside the gate, which occasionally happens, depending on the situation, the time, and what's going on in the world at the moment, uh, there are times when they'll say, oh no, you're not allowed off campus. They can still go to the fence, order through the fence, and get food from outside. So. And then you've got the food delivery guys as well. So you can order food from another restaurant and somebody will bring it, deliver it on an electric bike. So yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, students here work very, very hard. Um, yeah, the amount of homework they do and stuff. And yeah, it all comes back to... It all comes back to uh, just you have to do well to be able to achieve a good place in college, in university, in life. Uh, 
yes, it's hard. It's it's a hard grind, and I think also students here know that life has changed here in China in a big way in the last. 20, 30, 40 years, um, you know, with the poverty alleviation thing and stuff, people are finding themselves in a better place in life. And I think when students talk to their, <coughs> when students talk to their parents or their grandparents about life as a student, Quite often their parents and grandparents never had these opportunities. So I think a lot of the current generation of students know how lucky they are. Know that they were born in a time when they've got more opportunities than their predecessors had. So they do work hard. Um, and there's also the whole cultural thing as well, you know. It's, um, do they work too hard? Maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't think. Well, when I when I was a kid, I wouldn't have survived in this sort of atmosphere. So, yeah, it's a very very different world, different uh, different attitudes toward things and stuff. Um, what else can I tell you about student life here? I mean, young Emily, she has a very active life. Uh, you know, outside of, outside of school, which takes out a lot of hours. She's also doing singing classes. She's doing piano classes. She plays football, soccer. Um, what else does she do? Oh, she has extracurricular math class. So she goes to a private tutoring for mathematics. Um, so yeah, she's, she's a busy, busy young lady. Uh, I think I think she's always happy when I'm coming to visit because she knows when I'm coming to visit it means it's school holidays and she doesn't have to work so hard. Um, yeah, I've been, in, I've been over to visit them a couple of times like during the school term and it's just busy, busy, busy. Quite often they don't get home until 11 o'clock you know, after doing piano lessons and mathematics lessons and then going out having dinner somewhere because... They do eat out quite a lot. You know, a lot of people eat, eat out a lot here. So, yes, busy life. So, yeah, that was our little chat with Emily. She's a, uh, she's a great girl. I'm really, really lucky to have that whole family in my life here. They take good care of me, look after me well. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about life here in China, especially for students, uh, hit us up. I am going to try and get into a kindergarten and have a look around a kindergarten. We're going to try and get into a primary school, middle school, a high school and have a look around all these different things and try and get a look at how things work here. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. If you have any other questions about life for students here, let us know. Like we said with Emily, if you have any questions for her, uh, Hit us up in the comment section, ask questions. I'll pass them along to Emily, try and get some answers for you. Um, I'm sure she'd be happy to, uh, happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, yeah, get yourself subscribed to keep up to date with what's coming up in the future. Uh, if you have any, any ideas, things you'd like to learn about life here in China, hit us up in the comment section and we will be sure to bring that to you. Um, yeah, if you have any good ideas for videos, I'll go away, research them, come back and uh, make a video for you. So thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe and we will see you all in the next one. Cheers.